Hi, my name is Chris Fish King. Today I'm just going to go through how we can use eCopy ShareScan on a device where we're only getting the login name from the device. So several manufacturers have device-based authentication. So in this case, you would have walked up and authenticated yourself with your card, maybe. So let's take uh, uh, an example if you've got Safecom and you have a, a, a card reader, you've walked up and you presented your card. Now Safecom knows what your username is. So in this instance, I've just got our ID services emulator. What I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate passing just the, the user's username and the domain, no password to the device. So if we look in the configuration, I'm just going to pass in the username, in this case is administrator, and the domain, which is CPK. So in the Active Directory, in the mail uh, field, in the email field, there will be an email address for the administrator, which is my email address. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit connect. We should see the credentials being passed to ShareScan. Now, of course, what we'd expect with device-based authentication is that um, this would uh, ShareScan would just pick those up anyway and, and would log you in. Um, I'm just going to simulate that. So I'm going to hit connect. You see the word administrator there. And what I've got is I've got a, a test button here. This is just using the uh, LDAP SMTP connector. And I'm going to hit next. And what you'll notice is that it's picked up my email here from Active Directory. So there's at no point did I enter that in. The fact that I've um, just give, given it my username at runtime, it actually went and uh, and I could just send this email. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go hit home here and log out and, and end. This ID services emulator is really ideal for this kind of testing. And we'll just go and look at how the connector's configured. So if we just go and have a look at this email test here. So what I've got is I've got, in this case, I've actually got my, my server, um, which is a test server I'm using for SMTP. So this is the um, the uh, ability to send mail. I'm going to use my runtime user's LDAP email address. So there are a few options here, and this is really where we pick up the, the user's email address. So using the user's LDAP email address. So at runtime, what we've done is we've actually gone out and we've, uh, we've looked up um, in, in real time the, uh, uh, the user's email address from Active Directory. And then we can look at the sending options and we can see here scan document from the username and, uh, and I haven't enabled any of the address book lookups. So that's how, how it's configured. Hopefully that's self-explanatory. Any questions, ask your friendly TC.